threat of rain stretched week four of the high school football season over two nights and treated us to a trio of loco and loco matchups in which two established powers and a burgeoning one made statements, as well as some cross-regional matchups that gave us a few potential playoff previews. Let's dive into the highlights in another edition of Loco Lights on WHHI, powered by locosports.com. It was rave night for homecoming at Bluffton High School, but the top-ranked team in Class 2A spoiled the party. Hampton County's Jalen Singletary rushed for 149 yards and two touchdowns and took two interceptions to the house, and Chris Terry threw touchdown passes to three different receivers to help the Hurricanes hold off a furious second-half rally from Bluffton. Aiden McCarthy threw three touchdown passes and rushed for a score to get the Bobcats within two scores in the fourth quarter, but the hole was too big. Canes rolled 50-36. to The May River Sharks joined Hampton County at 4-0 with a dominant win over Brooklyn Casey on Thursday in the tank. Andrew Johnson led the way with 131 yards and three touchdowns as the Sharks racked up 373 rushing yards on 57 carries and blasted the Bearcats without attempting a pass. Gage Duncan and Sean Mitchell each added 104 yards on 14 carries, and Asa Haskins and Tanner Macy each scored a rushing touchdown for the Sharks, who win at 35-13 and should crack the top five in Class 4A this week. The Sharks aren't the only Region 6 4A team exceeding expectations early on, as Hilton and High continued to display a balanced offense and a stingy defense in a lopsided win at Hardyville on Thursday. Derek Renajewski returned from injury and went 8 for 11 for 104 yards and three TDs while splitting time at quarterback with Jeremiah Walters, who continued his strong play by going 5 for 5 for 71 yards and a touchdown, and caught a touchdown pass. Carson Haynes caught three passes for 100 yards and two TDs, and Ty Wiedemann hauled in a touchdown grab, while Thaddeus Zarnecki and Troy Timko each averaged more than eight yards per carry and scored a TD. Seahawks win 41-8. Colleton County beat up on stall on Friday as Galil Frazier and Amari Saunders connected for two touchdown passes. Cam Grayson added a rushing score and took a punt return to the house to help the Cougars roll to their first win of the season. Xavion Green led the shutout defensive effort with a pair of sacks and returned a fumble for a touchdown in a 50-0 win. Incredibly, that leaves Buford as the only Region 6 4A team without a win after the shorthanded Eagles came up short at home against Goose Creek on Friday. Buford was without star quarterback Samari Bonds and couldn't muster enough offensive firepower to keep pace with the dangerous Gators offense in a 27-12 loss. The Eagles will look to get right next week against Battery Creek, but the Dolphins will bring in some momentum after bashing Bethune Bowman on the road Friday. Chase Olson and Derek Smalls Jr. connected for two touchdown passes, and Smalls also took a punt return to the house thanks to an incredible block from Kelvin Willis. Ty Simmons scored a rushing TD and was on the receiving end of Olson's other touchdown pass, while Eddie Hayward rushed for 108 yards on 13 carries and Nigel Fripp added 75 yards and a touchdown on six totes. Battery Creek wins 41-0. Whale Branch and Ridgeland both fell to strong Class 2A opponents as Woodland turned it on after halftime to blow by the Warriors 42-13 and the Jaguars were blank 35-0 at Manning. Hilton Head Christian Academy and John Paul II hooked up for the first of their two meetings this season and this one doesn't count toward the region standings but the Eagles proved they'll be big favorites in the rematch. Reed McCollum had another monster night going 15-22 for 255 yards and 4 TDs and adding 138 yards and 2 touchdowns on 15 carries. With Joey Haupt leading the receiving core with six catches for 144 yards and two TDs, while Harry Cunningham caught four passes for 58 yards and two scores. HHCA runs away 42 13. Buford Academy ran its win streak to four games with a 35 20 win over Lee Academy, and it was another big night for Nick Underwood and Dietrich Schufert. Underwood racked up 154 yards and two TDs on 19 carries and blocked a punt and Shuford was 5 of 9 for 159 yards and 2 TDs and added 71 yards on the ground as the Eagles pulled away at home for a big Skiza 1A win. Chase Pauk snagged 2 balls for 102 yards in the score and had 6 tackles and an interception on defense. The Loco was on the wrong end of the other two cross-regional Skiza 1A clashes as Dorchester Academy edged Patrick Henry 19-13 in a defensive struggle and Thomas Hayward came up short on a 2-point conversion try late to fall 28-26 to Williamsburg Academy. Rematches in the playoffs are quite possible. In other skis of action, Hilton Head Prep fell 42-12 at Bethesda Academy, and Holly Hill Academy routed cross schools 49-6. We'll be live at 9.30 p.m. tonight for the Loco Sports Lowdown, and we'll look back on week four of the high school football season and check in on other sports news around the Loco. So tune into the Loco Media YouTube channel for all the local sports news you need all season long. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco!